Sure, I think we're going to have, uh, you know, quite a few challenges. They're going to be, you know, new. I think understanding the protocols, the, understand, uh, the understanding of the, the, the new normalcy, um, we've got to get used to those things. Uh, as far as, you know, ramping up, um, I've been very proud of, uh, of our players, their ability to, you know, stay ready without a start date. Um, they've been very impressive. Um, you know, over the last couple months, and now it's a, it's a matter of we got 21 days left until opening day, and uh, we got to get the guys, you know, back on the field, finding their rhythm and timing, and uh, getting back into the sink of things as quickly as possible. I think those are going to be, you know, the, the the challenges over, you know, a short period of time. Thanks, man. All right, AJ Cassaville, NLB.com. What is your message? To the to the to the team before kind of a weird camp like this and and obviously AJ confirmed that you did have one positive is that something that comes up or something that you address with the guys? Yeah, I think we're you know we we, we try to be a very transparent group and obviously there there's protocols there's HIPAA and things like that and and, and we're obviously learning about it um, but you know we're going to communicate with our group uh, be it be it be as clear and honest um, you know with them on the information that we can give them. Um, you know, messaging-wise, uh, you know, from a baseball standpoint, um, you know, the game's still the game. It's still our messaging of, you know, what we want to do on the field, uh, you know, which is how we, you know, attack the zone, how we, um, you know, the pitches that we swing at, the way we defend, the way we, we run the bases. Uh, but I think, like, the one of the bigger messages is uh, understanding, um, that uh, we're all responsible for one another and, um, you know, making, you know, trying to be aware of making decisions, whether that's going to a restaurant um, and uh, understand that, you know, our decisions affect one another within our bubble inside. Okay, Marty Caswell, 1360. Hi, Jace. With what you've seen so far, what type of condition and shape did your, did your players uh, show up at today at Peckle Park? Yeah, we've been fortunate enough to be in communication or we've had a group in Arizona or a group here. Um, so it's been as advertised from what the reports we're getting from Arizona or what we've been seeing from here. Um, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're getting ready to get into the, the, the practice now and, and they're out there running. So, you know, our, our goals are the same. We want to say stay an active group. And I think, you know, after a quick, you know, two day look, um, been pre getting pretty good positive feedback from the coaches and the strength coaches and the trainers on uh, what type of shape they're in. But, you know, we all know there's, there's a difference between being, you know, in the gym and, and running uh, shape. And it, there's also a difference of, uh, you know, having to stand on your feet for three outs, go back and forth, start, stop, sprint, stand around again, just the uh, challenges of baseball. So we've got to get into that type of feel and shape. And really the only way to do that is we've got to rep some games out and get some game action. Okay, we'll do a couple more in English, then we'll finish in Spanish. Uh, we'll do Annie Halbern, SDUT. Chase, how important is it to balance three weeks and 60 games and guys who have been, you know, probably ready to get back to the field for a while now with, with not going too fast too soon and not sacrificing any injuries or just going getting too fast? Sure, it's it, it's a definite balance. Uh, the balance between you know where the starting pitchers are and and how many outings uh, do they need over these next 21 days, and how many innings can we get them built up to opening day, versus the challenges of you know some of the bullpen arms. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a break uh, the first two weeks by being able to carry four extra players, and then that windles down. And so, um, you know, being able to make sure that uh, some of our, our bullpen guys can go multiple innings. Um, and then, you know, certainly from a position player standpoint, you know, the challenges of getting them enough at bats, uh, getting them on their feet, making sure we're in shape um, without pushing them too, too hard. So, um, you know, we're, we're we're going to have a buildup. You know, we're not coming out and playing nine innings off the bat. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have a buildup. And then, you know, it's, it's communication with the coaches. It's communication with the trainers. It's certainly feedback, you know, from the players of how they're feeling. But uh, it's no secret we want to uh, move as fast as we can, as quick as we can. But we need to do that safely.
Thank you. All right. Back to AJ Castleville. Chase, it's my understanding you're going to be playing a bunch of uh, inter-squad games, potentially even very soon, maybe tonight. Can you just tell us like what those games will look like in terms of like how many innings, how strict are you on like three outs, that kind of thing? And also, how much can you glean from those games versus like a regular spring training where you're playing 14 other teams in Arizona? Sure. Uh, yeah, th those games, the Indians are going to vary dependent on, you know, how much pitching we have that night and, you know, what kind of each individual pitcher is, um, you know, building up to. So, you know, some days it's a four inning game and obviously some days we'll do nine inning games. Um, you know, how do you, uh, you know, evaluate that or compare that to another team? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. We're just going to have to use, you know, you know in, in a way it's good. Um, you know, Manny's probably never really had an opportunity to face, you know, Paddock or Kirby Yates. You know, it's very few limited times. So I think, A, uh, we got a chance to face some good pitchers and some good pitchers have a chance to face some, some good hitters. And probably more importantly, they got an opportunity to share what they're thinking, what they're seeing, and how they're competing against one another. Um, so I think uh, some of that feedback from hitter to pitcher, and, um, it, it, I think it works both ways. All right, uh, Jeff Sanders, UT. Yeah, I was wondering if you could um, kind of run down where your pitchers are innings-wise, where they were able to stay at with their individual work. Yeah, they're, they're all, you know, a little bit different. Um, but, you know, I feel, I feel very confident that, you know, by the time we get to opening day, bearing any setbacks or anything like that, you know, I think our expectations are, you know, to be able to get up to, you know, five or six innings. Um, maybe if somebody's very efficient with their pitchers, their pitches, you know, do they have a chance to get into the seventh? Uh, we're not going to rule anything out. Uh, but I think, like, you know, overall, you know, you're probably looking over these next three weeks, some of these starters getting anywhere from three to four outings and uh, being built up. I, you know, to, to get into, like, each and, and every guy, it's a little bit off, um, you know, di different innings and different programs and things like that. All right. You ready for a couple in Spanish? Sure. Okay. Let's do uh, Jorge Camacho. Sintis. Uh, Chase, uh, ¿cómo estás? How's it going? Uh, bien, bien. Eh, lo que ha sido la noticia de los prospectos, pues Mackenzie Gore también cabezando para padres, pero también en los primeros lugares de, de la MLB. Uh, what is your perspective? ¿Cuál es tu perspectiva de Mackenzie Gore y the other prospects? Sí, uh, ahora nuestro foco es, uh, you know, con los, uh, you know, pereteros. Hablando sobre, you know, McKenzie, mis expectaciones.